in this Vue.js 3 video tutorial we will learn about Vue.js events. So these are the points of this video. First of all we will learn that how we can use click event, how we can call a function on click event, how we can pass data with the events and uh, we will also learn that how we can uh, uh, make double click event and uh, one more event for mouse move. And uh, in this video we will learn an uh, interview question so that it can help you to crack interviews. Before starting with this video, I want to share some information. If you are looking to purchase domain name or hosting, then you can purchase it with the domain racer. Here you can see that plans are just starting with the 59 rupees per month and uh, they have more plans like shared hosting, resale hosting, VPS hosting and they also have a free website builder tool. If you are not familiar with the code or not familiar with the design, then don't worry, you can make your website freely without any cost, without any code, without uh, with this tool right so go for it and uh, now let's uh, get back to our video so I want to make a button here first of all so let's define a button right and I can just close this button tag and let's add some uh, text also like click me now I want to add a event or let's say we are just defining a function we will call a function on this button click right so let's define here methods and as you know here we can define our method let's say get data and here I can make alert and in alert we can put here like a function called or something now let's click on it uh, sorry we don't need to use on click like this because this is a react syntax I just uh, puzzle about that right so let's use here uh, v that means view hyphen on and your event name like say uh, click event mouse move double click whatever you want to perform right and after that you can just call your function like get data like this right so now let's see is it working or not click on that and here you can see that function called great so uh, now let's see how we can pass some parameters so I am putting here some data like uh, button 1 clicked and uh, just get the data like this data and alert it now let's again hit button and we got a error I think mm -mm -mm -mm. really yep I got that because we just need to use here single quotes uh, many time developers uh, do these kind of mistakes because uh, we are using already double quotes here so inside it we can use single quotes only right now I'm clicking on it and here you can see that button one clicked so let's say if have a uh, one more button like this here we can put here button to click button to click so now I want to change this event in the double click so just put here dbl click now on a first click this is working fine but whenever I will click on a second button you will say nothing is actually happen again try nothing actually happen, happen because we are used here double click so if I am uh, hitting a double click here uh, very quickly like this then you can see that button to click great so now uh, let's see how we can use uh, event on this h1 tag or you can say that mouse move event right so just put here on v on mouse move and our uh, function name let's say get console like this right and let's define a function get console and uh, make console here why I am not uh, using here alert because uh, if we are just using alert on move then it will just make lots of alert button because mouse move button is uh, hitting very quickly right so just put here event is fired and uh, let's make it refresh sometime we need to make it refresh and uh, Okay, I just need to go on a 
you can say that um, logs or you can just simply hide this right and now you can see that this event is event is fired and it's working very quickly so that if i am just putting here alert then i have 180 alerts here and i will really die to just close them so all right after that uh, maybe you know in interview questions they can ask that uh, how we can change a property value data property value in, with the help of click event or any other event right so let's say i have a h2 tag here uh, inside it i want to print some data property for that let me define here data function return Let me just format it and need to crack this spelling and I need a one comma here also and now I can define a property let's say count and by default value of this property is zero and I can print this property in a double uh, brackets double angular brackets you can see that uh, curly braces and uh, now we can refresh it again because we don't need these columns here and uh, now this is working fine sorry guys for uh, errors so here you can see that we got a zero value here. so on a button click i want to change it right so how can i change this value for that on a button click let's say you don't need to this pass this data so we can remove it and you can remove this here and put here this dot count equal to this dot count plus one and now here you can see that this is working great right and uh, even we can minus it on a double click if you want right uh, let's say minus one right so if i will uh, 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 let's use here this one so here you can see that uh, we have some values and from here we can minus it or it, it will just stay. Uh, double click actually confusing us to clicking on a double so what we can do here let's add here only single click right so that uh, it, we can just save to the confusion right so okay okay actually i just need to call it on uh, that way right now the minus working fine and plus is also working fine so that's the way that how we can change our events if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video